Another example in multiplication is this one. If this is an example that I would have said, this is in, in we have two brackets here, and the other bracket is here. This means that uh, this number is multiplied to this one. So this will be multiplied to here and here. So in short, we would have said this is 3 and a radical of 2 in bracket 2 and a radical of 3 minus this is and a radical of 2. Then plus this is 3 and a radical 2, then and a radical of 3, then minus and a radical of 2. This is what I would have written. This is why it is very simple. It is because this number will be multiplied to this one. To every term which is found in the other bracket and followed by this number also will multiply to every term will be multiplied to every term which is found in the next bracket. That is to say this by this and this. Therefore, this again by this and this. It is very simple to understand it. If that is the case now, we follow the principle of multiplication. Numbers outside the radical are multiplied themselves. And numbers inside the radical are multiplied themselves. Now, this times this one. It is now 3 times 2, which now is equal to 6. And then 2 times 3, that is under radical of 6. Then this one times one here. If there is nothing here, there is one. Then three times one is then negative three because negative positive times by negative. Then inside by inside, you have two by two. Then plus this time this one. Outside here, there is one. One times one, one times two is two. Three times three, it is 3 by 3. Then the next one, we have 1 times 1 is 1. Then 3 times 2, we have then negative radical 6. Why is it negative? Because positive times negative is negative. Positive times negative is negative. If that is the case now, remember, this meets the condition of the square roots. Because they are supposed to be only two of the same number, this meets the condition of the square root. And it is why now we say we have 6 and a radical of 6, then minus 3 times 2. Then plus, this is 2 times 3, then minus and a radical of 6. But remember now, we have 6 and a radical of 6, then minus 6, positive 6, then negative and a radical of 6. If that is the case now, there is something very interesting to understand. This and this. This is negative 6 and this is positive 6. Now, the result is 0. Because now you have negative 6, you have positive 6, the result is 0. Therefore, you remain with something called 6 and a radical of 6 minus 1 and a radical of 6. Why have I written here 1? It is very simple because here there is 1. Meets, always 1 meets the condition of everything. Even if now you're talking about the cube root, 1 meets the condition of the cube roots. And it is there for now because of being, of having the same number under the radical, these are called like terms like terms if now these are called like terms it is very simple for me now we can subtract them it is now 6 minus 1 and a radical of 6 therefore it is 5 and a radical of 6 this is how we simplify so the most important case that you have to understand what we are talking is these numbers under the same value the under the root have got the same value so we call them like terms if now we call them like terms, it's so simple for us now to subtract them. But also, we subtract all in the coefficient. It's just like to say 6y minus y is equal now to 5y. 
Why? Because y represents the radicals. And that is why we say we subtract and add radicals as now we do in algebra. That's how now we would have said it. Now this is an answer because it is possible for us to subtract them, them because they are called like terms. And that's why an answer is equal to 5 and radical of 6. Kwa cha msingi hapa cha kuangalia ni kwamba kumbe hii nilitakiwa nizidishe na hizi huku zote hapa na hapa alafu huyu naye huyu naye alitakiwa zidishe hizi hapa na hizi hapa baada ya kufanya hivyo principle principle zake zinakuwa tu ni kwamba hii hapa inazidishwa na huyu maana yake tunaenda conclusion ya kwamba the principle that was supposed to be here the numbers outside the bracket must be at right to themselves and numbers inside the, I mean numbers outside the radical multiply themselves. We multiply themselves numbers which are found outside the radicals. And we multiply themselves numbers which are found inside the radicals. Ko numbers are nje na ya nje inazidishwa. Ya ndani na ya ndani inazidishwa. Ko ukizidisha ndani na ya ndani, unapata matokeo. Ukizidisha ya nje na ya nje, unapata matokeo. That's how we conduct the radicals multiply.